To me, it is historical, it's groundbreaking. Uh, I love the contemporary um, perspective, but also bringing in the history and what is important to the president. I like the flowers that are represented in it, the natural environment, and just a different take than what we think of portraits. There's this long history of photography and photographs excluding the African-American experience. Frederick Douglass, I think, was one of the first to get his portraits done and to be staring right into the camera. To see the president staring right out front and the first lady, Michelle Obama, looking straight out front, it's powerful. I feel like the representation of Michelle doesn't get across her warmth and kind of her accessibility, even though I know that's what the artist Amy Sherald was looking to portray, but it doesn't show her humanity as much as I wish it did. The portrait of Barack Obama is more, it feels like he's really looking at you wanting to know what you're thinking. I love the technique, the, the, the grace that the artist used to depict her, and I really, really loved him. Yeah, the photorealism was pretty cool. The, the background kind of sticking over Barack's picture was really pretty neat. And the, the colors were just so vibrant. In, in contrast to each other, it's pretty cool too to see yeah. the two different techniques, two different styles, just completely different. They're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. They're like chilling. I got goosebumps. Kehinde Wiley is a phenomenal painter, obviously. Like his work is absolutely beautiful and then Amy as well. I think she captured Michelle Obama beautifully. Seeing these pictures up close was just amazing. I didn't think that it was gonna look the way that it did, nor did I realize the size difference, you know, on your phone versus in person. I remember the portraits coming out and I remember people liking the one of Michelle less. And so the choice to kind of make her in the tradition of formal portraiture, which is a little bit more like I am powerful and I am a little bit removed, is like disjoint with our public image of her but it's absolutely in the tradition of powerful leaders, right? Of which Michelle is obviously one as well. His face is so strong and he's so open with his collar open and leaning into the picture. And I, I walked around and his eye contact was with me the whole way. I really felt that he drew me into really listening and communication in a strong and compassionate way. And I loved it that such a strong person could sit in a floral arrangement representing all the places that he had lived. I wanted to cry. He's an incredible president. And for me, who has a daughter who dreams big, to see the president and first lady dream big, and share that dream with everyone. They never give up, they never divide, and they're always like, come on for the ride and inspire. Oh, literally, when I walked in, I got chills. I felt very proud. The first thing I said was, oh my God, this is so dope, um, seeing black people represented in this way and in such a great museum as this and like people paying money to come in and see this and like the elevation of black art that we've seen in the last few years has been something that I hope continued the trajectory. Happy, there is a joy to them. I was in tears when he won the election, first time, let alone the second time. And um, that same kind of joy definitely comes through in the paintings. Same, same feeling. It's nice to see someone being different Right? Like, it's not the traditional stuffy picture, so it's, it's just a little bit of awe and a little bit of uh, pride in, in seeing things evolve and being different. When I started reading the notes on leadership and just reflecting on what I'm looking at, I've got tears in my eyes because I think that as, as a black woman in America, it's hard, you know, and to see these influences and these leaders, you know, portrayed in this way is beautiful.